So are you looking for some last minute ideas for costumes for Halloween? Well, today I am the purple ghoul with my feather boa and all. So I'm gonna show you how to take a plain black outfit and turn it into a spectacular costume and it's on a budget. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I wanna thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative, and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. You know I'm almost 72 years old and I say it because if I can do it, you can do it too at any age. I wanna thank my lovely, wonderful subscribers, all my wonderful friends that watch my videos and leave me the best comments. I so appreciate all of you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. You don't want to miss all of this Halloween goodness and Christmas to follow. Best time of the year. And if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. It does help my channel. So I have so many costumes to show you, but they're so simple. Whether you're hosting a Halloween party, going to a Halloween party, or just handing out candy, take a beautiful black outfit and a hat some accessories, and you have a spectacular costume without having to buy anything. I can't wait to show you. Some of my cute accessories come from the Dollar Tree. You don't have to spend a lot of money on this, and you look great, and you can have a new costume every year just changing out your hat and accessories. Cannot wait. So without further ado, let's look at all the ways we can spiff up a black outfit and actually make a costume out of it. I hope you love it. I hope you get so inspired. And I'm going to see you as what I'm not sure in the next video. Bye. Welcome to my very easy costume video. You're going to take a black outfit and you're going to add a hat and some accessories. And you are going to put together a last minute costume that is out of this world. Let's start at the back here. And this is my purple ghoul. She has one of these little hats from Michaels. By the way, they're 50 or 60% off right now. So run down and get them. And I put purple tubing, some ribbon, a flower. And then I did a feather boa out of purple. And my gosh, with the black outfit, that is so beautiful. Now, if you want to do more of a um, queen of hearts, here's the same hat. It's a top hat with a little um, headband attached to it. And I just added some hearts, some heart ribbon, and a Queen of Hearts playing card. And of course, I made a little off with their head uh, scepter also. And then I took one of my heart necklaces and painted it red. So those are the three components. In the purple ghoul, you have two components. But that, those are so, so easy to do. Now I wanna show you some headbands. This one here is my Spider Lady headband. You can see here I've added a spider from Dollar Tree. I started with a green witch hat, added some mesh tubing in lime green, feathers, and some of this spider fabric that I had that I made a scarf out of. So put on your headband in green and black, your scarf, and get a gigantic spider and put them on a leash and that how, that's your costume. I mean, that is so adorable. I did that in one of my videos. Now, if you say, I don't know if I can do this. Here, I wanna show you one more headband that I made. Again, it starts with a headband. And you just really just uh, put together and then just tie it on with pipe cleaners. Here's a flower with a skeleton head. And you can see I have just a bunch of tool and some of this blue mesh from Dollar Tree. And to go with my little headband, I made a necklace. I just, just took a piece of mesh. Now, I made it shorter, so I had to cut it apart and I just taped it together, but made two flowers with skeleton heads and hands. And that is my necklace to go with my skeleton headband. Now you might say, Bonnie, I don't wanna have to make a headband. Go to Dollar Tree. Look at these adorable little ladybug headbands. And I just took one of my old necklaces and glued some stickers on, <laughs> ladybug stickers. How cute is that? All right. And you saw my adorable little unicorn 
uh, ears or headband that I put. Now I did add on these pink foam roses from Dollar Tree. And then I found a similar colored necklace I had and I just glued on some more of these pink foam roses. So it makes a really pretty outfit with black. Um, you can make a little wand, a little unicorn wand with some flowers on it. How adorable is that? You might say, that's still too much. Okay, let's keep it real, real simple here. You want to be a pirate winch? Just get a kid's hat, a piece of red fabric to tie around your head, then put the hat on it and a fake um, sword and you're a pirate. Or a very simple costume is a scarf you're going to tie around your head, some gypsy baubles and beads, and a little... Uh, a fortune telling crystal ball here that lights up and that could be your costume. Now I want you to stay tuned because I have another whole set of costumes I'm going to be showing you in just a minute. Let's take a look at those. Okay I have quite a few more things to show you but before I show you I forgot to show you in the last little video. I just wanted to show you that you can take a skeleton arm and make it into a like a Mardi Gras mask or a masquerade ball mask. That's really easy too. And just put some purple and green on and you're good to go. But I wanna show you what I got at Michael's, which is gonna be one of my costumes next year. <gasps> Look at this steampunk hat I got. Isn't that absolutely fabulous? It was on sale, 50% off. And I also got this adorable little bat. I'm afraid I'm going to break him, but um, anyway, he's so, so cute, and he was, I think, 50% off, and I want to show you my very favorite candle from Michael's. It's Pumpkin Pancake. They're on sale for $2.80. Get them if you can. This is my favorite fall Halloween pumpkin. You'll enjoy it for Thanksgiving also. Okay, let's talk about witches. Now, you know, every year I'm a different witch. So you can see over here on the right, this is my classic witch in orange and black. Now I would take, you can get a hat at Walmart for about six bucks or even cheaper, put some orange and black ribbon and just take one of your necklaces. I have this kind of spooky necklace that has a little skull on it. And I just tied on some orange and black ribbon and that can be your costume and wear some orange and black striped socks and you've got a good witch outfit. Last year I did a celestial witch all in silver and black. So I put all these sparklers and stuff from Dollar Tree on my hat. I got some, uh, some little um, I don't know what this stuff's called. It's got stars on it and some little fabric that had sheer stars. And then I made myself a magic wand. Isn't this adorable? And you can see here, it's just um, uh, a piece of cardboard that I glued some black paper on and then I put stars and jewels and I just finished it with some of the sparkly edging stuff and put that on the base of it also. And then my necklace was in black and silver. Those are witch hats and they're so easy to do. This year I'm a candy witch and you can see here that I used these Dollar Tree uh, candy corns and these are black pieces of paper with some of that tubing from Dollar Tree just made into candy swirls. And I have polka dot orange and polka dot i have green and white and black and white ribbon and i had a black and white necklace i just added the candy corn too you can see how cute that is there and of course i made my halloween candy sucker so that completes my outfit but my favorite outfit this year and this did take me some time i didn't have a pattern is i made a ghost host you can see there's my little name tag apron and headband. Now this is so easy. I just took a piece of cardboard and glued it around a headband and glued on <laughs> this lace from Hobby Lobby, black lace from Hobby Lobby, these little lace poofs on each side. And I took a little bit of the scrap fabric and just tied it on. Isn't that adorable? And then I made out of some feathers I had, I just made a little wand to clean with. Now, where do you find green and black striped fabric? You don't. I had black and white striped fabric that I dyed dark green. Of course, I should have left it in a little longer. 
and my phone is not reading how green it is. It looks double the green it's showing for some reason. But anyway, so I dyed it and I just made a pattern that just came in and out and then down on the sides and down. And I just had this lace from Hobby Lobby and black lace from Hobby Lobby that I put all around the edge, around the top. I made a little black tie. I took the fabric and made a pocket, okay? And um, you can see I made the stripes going the other way. You can see that I put on some lace, black lace, and some little piece of ribbon that I had. And I made a little tie that went around the neck. You can see I had to adjust it, so I had to glue this ribbon on. But anyway, it came out so adorable. So if you want to do the Haunted Mansion or want a costume that you want to sew and take time with, this Ghost Host one is just absolutely adorable. All right, you all, from decorating witches hats, headbands, hats, jewelry, um, and add one other accessory and you have a complete outfit. But these little headbands are so easy to do. All right, I just, this gives me Halloween thrills. I hope you loved all these ideas. And like I said, whether you're giving a party, going to a party, or just handing out candy, have fun this Halloween. Have some spooky fun. That's what October's all about before we get into the rush of the holidays. All right, you all. I hope you love this. I hope you got so inspired. And I'm going to see you in the next spooky video. Bye.